Hey there, researchers here, and in this video we're going to show you how to upload an HTML site uh, to get it live on the internet. So um, you will need, in this example, an FTP client. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and uh, you can get that free. It's software um, by the people that produce Firefox. The, their their uh, company is called Mozilla, and uh, they produce something called FileZilla. Okay, so FileZilla. Just you don't even need download. Let's say download, and then uh, client download. Click on that, and then you will come to this page here. And in this page, uh, they will determine what um, what you're running, what your operating system is, and it will give you a download button for that. So they have, mine is a Mac, uh, I'm running the Mac OS X, uh, and you can choose uh, Windows down here. Okay. So I have already uploaded this to, uh, I already have this, this um, software, so I'm going to go directly into the software and we'll continue from there. So this is the software, and uh, to get into this software you will need to um, have a host domain name and a, a username and a password. So your host name, if you only own one domain name, um, let's say you, you've registered just the one domain name, then this will be your host domain name. And your username and password will be given to you from your hosting provider. So if you're not sure what it is, then contact your hosting provider. Uh, they could be uh, GoDaddy or HostGator or Certified Solutions. Uh, so there, there's many different hosting providers. Whatever one yours is, contact them and uh, find out what your username and password is. And furthermore, if you have any problems here, you should be able to contact them and get them to answer your questions. So I am not uh, technically, uh, I'm not a tech wizard myself. So uh, often, so oftentimes, I will have to call them and uh, have them walk me through some of the processes. So for this here, um, you put in your host name, your username, your password, and then you click Quick Connect. I am already inside. On the left-hand side here, okay. Um, on the left-hand side here is your computer. So your this is your your hard drive, okay, and on the right here is uh, basically the let's let's consider it for ease of use called it the the internet okay like so this is um, basically what's on your server okay and uh, on your server you need to be putting the information that you want to appear on the internet so I will first search down the the left hand side okay for the folder that I want to upload to the to my website okay. So search for the folder, and once you find once you find that folder, okay, this this is the the entire folder here. So um, this is for the um, FB Timelines mini site. Okay, so uh, if you're, you're trying to upload the FB Timelines mini site in this example, um, you have some HTML pages, a style.css page. Uh, images, ebook covers, and ad graphics. Ebook covers and ad graphics um, we don't need to concern ourselves with. Um, so all we need is the images, the style.css, and the any of the HTML pages. So when you upload this to your domain name, your domain will um, you you will be able to access this page at yourdomain.com backslash thank you.html. So I have stripped down one of my domain names in order to to do this um, this walkthrough with you and you might have your domain names on public HTML okay uh, and they, they would appear here or you could have them show up under domains okay it depends on where you put them okay if you're unsure just contact your, your hosting provider and uh, they'll be able to tell you where it is so I have a stripped down um, my main domain here, reeserichards.com, and I have emptied it okay, in order to show you how to upload uh, everything here. So what you want is each of these, you want to upload each of the ones we talked about. And there's a, you can either drag and drop them, or you can just simply double click them very quickly. Okay. So uh, let's just double click the 
the um, the images. Sorry, we don't want to we don't want to do this one by one. So uh, let's just uh, let's drag this over. Okay. Otherwise, if you if you click into it, you'll have to do it each each image one by one. So uh, just drag it over, and then the other ones you can double click. Okay, and we want the style. So you'll have to wait for this to to upload. And just to give you an idea, I have uh, research.com/thankyou.html, and once this has finished uploading, then I should be able to reload that URL and have those pages, at least the thank you page, sales page, and download page. Um, viewable on my website and uh, important if you want something from researchers.com just just the base URL if you if you want something to show up on the base URL itself then it has to be the page has to be um, labeled index I N D E X dot HTML so anything that is index dot HTML will show up on the root domain so right now there's nothing so if I just went to researchers.com it wouldn't show me anything but if I went to researchers.com backslash thank you or download or I'm missing sales page or sales page it should be on my site so if I reload this now okay there is the page so this is the the thank you page and you can see all of the images are here Okay, it is pulling that straight from the images file here. So, okay, it has to be labeled images. So, again, don't click into it and, and do it one by one because you need this directory here. Just try to drag the whole thing over, and then the other ones you can just double click on them. Okay, and you need the style.css sheet in here because that determines uh, what the, the look and feel of your website is. Otherwise, it would just be um, kind of text. On a white background, okay. So uh, again, if you if you want to if you want something to appear at ReeseRichards.com or or whatever your domain name is .com, then uh, you need to upload uh, a new page uh, and called index.html. And on there you can just uh, you know talk about uh, your general uh, services if you if you want um, or a little bit about yourself or something. It could be kind of an about you page. So. Whatever your domain name is, this is how you would upload your entire uh, FB Timelines for Pages site to your domain. And again, if you have any problems, then contact your hosting provider because uh, they will be able to, to walk you through this process. If you can't get this set up on the right-hand side here, for example, um, you need to contact your hosting provider and then they will tell you how to access this. And then once it is FTP ready, then you can just go and download this um, FileZilla um, software and then and then you basically just transfer everything over from your computer to um, the server or to the internet okay so that's it for this video and um, hopefully uh, you'll be able to get these uh, sites uh, your site up and, and running uh, in no time okay and we'll talk to you soon